Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to load data in our data lake house. If you are new, I'd recommend you to go back and watch the previous video from our playlist. On my screen, you can see the generic landing data load process. As the store drop the files in AWS data lake, in the first step we will read the incremental data file. As a second step we will cast all the columns to string. In the third step we will add the mandatory audit columns. Fourth is the most essential step where we will write the data in the landing layer in append mode. Once the data is written successfully, in the fifth step we will update our job control table with the execution status. In the sixth step we will generate the Zimlink manifest file which will be required by Athena to read the data. To start with, we have configured our run date as 2022.0101, which is the run date for our full load. Here is the date landing IPython notebook that we are going to run through. We'll start by importing the required libraries. As you can see, we are also importing the required utility functions that we discussed in our previous session. If you are new to this session and you have not seen the previous utility video, I recommend you to go back and watch the utility video first. We have set the required job parameter, run date, which we will get from the get run date function, which will read the run config.txt file. For this load, we are going to do a full load for which our run date is 2022.0101. As you can see, the run date is 2022.0101. Let's generate our Spark session. Our Spark session is generated. Here is the URL to check the Spark UI. Let's import the required Spark configs. Next, we are defining the columns that are required for our date landing. The data we will get from the date data utility function will pass the run date and will read two years of data. Now we will create the first data frame from the data and the columns that we have just provided in the upper cell. Here is the schema of the data frame we just created. This is the count of the landing. Let's check the data. As you can see, the first column is date, then we have day, month, year and the day of the week. Next, we will cast all the columns to string and we will add insert date and run date into our data frame as audit columns. Let's run this cell. As the log printed, we have casted all the columns to string. The final data layer count is 729 and we are printing the schema where you can see all the columns are string except the audit columns. Let's check out the data. This is how our final data will look like. Next, we have to write the data into the table. We are checking the max timestamp for this table. We are checking if we are getting the default low value. If it is not a default low value, it means we have already data in the table. In that case, we will run the append mode. If we get the default low value, it means we have to run the overwrite mode. Let's run this cell. The data is written in the landing layer. Now we can go in AWS and check if the data files are present in AWS S3 bucket. We are into S3. Let's check out the landing DB. We have the table created and the data files are also written. Now let's insert the execution status in our job control table. Let's check whether the entry was successful. We have an entry inside the job control table. Now we can check the metrics for this data table. Number of output rows is 729, which is equal to the number of rows that we generated as a date data. 
we will generate symlink manifest for our athena access we'll discuss about symlink manifest in our next sessions for now we will just generate the symlink manifest file before we stop our spark session let's validate the data in the landing layer The data is properly populated in our landing table. Now we can go ahead and stop our Spark session. Today we completed the load for our date landing. In the next session, we will load this data in date staging and we'll see how we can use the job control to read the incremental data. Keep learning, keep growing, keep sharing.